So this video is going to talk about now that we know what sig figs are and when zeros are important, when we do math calculations in chemistry, uh, how do we round numbers to the correct number of significant figures or significant digits? Again, please know I interchange those terms. So the rule is there are two rules. If I'm adding and subtracting numbers, I'm going to take the least number of digits after the decimal. And I'm going to show you a few examples here so you can kind of take a look at that. The second rule is for multiplication and division. Now this is, of course, the one we do most often in here. Um, yes, we will add numbers together and subtract them, but in reality, it's going to be multiplication and division that we use the most. So it is the least number of total digits. Again, these are two separate rules. So when we start to do the math, you're going to have to keep them separate uh, in your head. Okay. So let's do adding and subtracting first. So when you are doing a problem like this, it's going to feel like you're going back to grade school, I guess, um, when you first learned how to add and subtract. Um, it's always a good idea when you are doing adding and subtracting that you kind of line them up so that you can see how many digits uh, the number you have. Uh, so for example, I only have one digit after the decimal here and this has three. So I'm really cutting off this number at that point. And so uh, the rule is for adding and subtracting is the least number of digits after the decimal. So my answer can only be one digit after the decimal because of the 5.9. So mathematically you add it up, it's 18.378 when you put it in your calculator. 18.378. So again, this is not a math problem, this is a chemistry problem. So that means I can only have one digit after the decimal. So that's the three here, but next to the three is a seven. So any number above five, I have to round up. So my correct answer here is 18.4, 18.4. Again, all of our answers will be rounded to correct significant figures or correct, correct significant digits. So again, if you draw a line through where the least number of digits after the decimal. So if you line it up like this, it might be an easier visual for you to see. So again, do the math in your calculator. And then write out the full answer and keep it in your calculator and then round to correct sig figs. So I can only have one digit after the decimal because of the 8.5. So when I subtract those two numbers. So what's next to the four is a six. So my final answer is 737.5. 737.5. Okay, so that is adding and subtracting. Well, what about multiplication and division? Okay, and realize adding and subtracting, it's the same thing. It's not any different if you're adding or if you're subtracting, okay? Same thing goes with multiplication and division, okay? Multiplication and division. So multiply these two numbers out, okay? And you will get 3394.5, okay? So 3394.5 when you multiply those two numbers. So, the rule is for multiplication and division, it's the least number of total digits in the answer, okay? Excuse me, in the measurements. So this first number, and the whole point of this was not to include zeros, I have four significant digits, okay, in this value. I have two significant digits in this value, 7.5. So I have to round this number to two digits. It could be only as precise, this is the rule, only as precise as your least precise instrument. So this only has two digits information, so my answer can only have two digits. So that means uh, if I look over here, I have 3,394, so I can only have the three and then I'm gonna round it up to a four, but I can't write 34 because 34 is nowhere close to 3,394. So obviously I need two more zeros and those zeros are not significant because there is no decimal point present. So that means the four and the three are the only two significant digits. Now if zeros bother you when you do this, then create this, excuse me, change this to scientific notation. So move that decimal three over so it's between the two significant digits and write 3.4 times 10 to the third as your final answer. 
So again, if the zeros bother you or they kind of trick your brain a little bit, write everything in scientific notation and I will give you full credit, okay? Because the three and the four are two significant digits. So see if you could divide these two numbers and see if you can round it to the correct number of significant figures. So pause the video and see if you could do it. So you get 70.9608 in your calculator. This has five significant digits. This has only three. So my answer can only have three. But the reason I picked these numbers was it's 70.96. So I have to round this number up. So I want to round it up to 71. But I can't stop there because that's only two sig figs. So I need to put a zero at the end to say I have three significant digits because this is the Pacific side. I start counting and I don't stop counting until I'm done. So this is the correct answer for this particular problem.